Hello and welcome to the Nourish Nutrition Business Show. I'm Sherry Rothwell. And in today's show, we're going to be talking about why the case study module or model of um, serving your clients is not going to be working that well for you um, in an actual business setting. So um, I just want to acknowledge you right now if you're watching the replay, just to say hi to you as well. Um, and encourage you to share this video um, live stream with your friends, um, anyone you know who is a holistic nutritionist or health coach who could benefit from looking at their business in a little bit of a different way. So my name is Sherry Rothwell and I um, am a teacher at the Canadian School of Natural Nutrition. So I, like you, have been trained as a holistic nutritionist. Um, I also studied at the Edison Institute of Nutrition and both um, trainings um, include business, but don't include um, a system for how to actually deliver your service, right? So when you start business, it can be really confusing because there's so many things that you have to um, keep in mind at one time to actually create a business that serves your clients so that your service is actually um, able to be delivered in a way that's digestible for them, right? Because you know, when you're at school, you learn so many different things. And even in your own mind, it can be hard to distill things down into, you know, a step-by-step -step process to follow for yourself, never mind then to um, do that for your clients. So a lot of people come out of nutrition school feeling like they're super excited and passionate about helping people, but they don't really understand how to take what they've learned and turn it into a business. Okay, so that's the service delivery part of it. So what your nutrition school has provided for you is training in how to set up a business in a more general way, right? How do I know? Because I teach business at um, a nutrition school. I've also been um, for the past about five years helping holistic nutritionists and health coaches with their business. So I have an idea also of how other um, people who have studied at different schools, the ones that I haven't studied at, um, you know, what they're provided for. And I noticed this running thread of people feeling overwhelmed with having learned so much, but not knowing how to actually take that, distill it down into something that can be um, basically put into a business, right? Um, because a business has, you know, all of its own challenges to it. Um, never mind having to figure out how you actually take this knowledge and turn it into something that is marketable, right? Because at the end of the day, if you don't have something marketable, then you're not, you don't have something to sell either. And so a lot, unfortunately, too many nutritionists get started out of the, just like they get started in their business, but they don't really know how to turn it into a business that is profitable. And then they get discouraged and feel like maybe this is something that they can't make a living doing. Now, in my experience, I was really lucky because when I first got started as a host nutritionist, I had already had experience in um, the alternative birth field. So I already knew what it was like to be in a business where people weren't really that familiar with what it was that I did. I'd have to um, educate people on the service like that it even existed never mind um you know anything else right so it can be the same as a health coach or a holistic nutritionist so when you go to um you know a family gathering or you go to an event like say a networking event or even if you're sitting at the bus stop beside somebody and they ask you what you do and if you just say i'm a holistic nutritionist most people just don't know what that is right um, so there's a lot of different hurdles that you have to overcome. So not only do you have to learn how to run a business, right? So you maybe thought, I'm going to go to nutrition school because I want to become a nutritionist. But actually, your decision in alignment with deciding to become a nutritionist is also the decision to be an entrepreneur, right? So a lot of people are not excited about that <laughs> uh, because they don't see themselves as business savvy. Okay, so there's that aspect of it. But then there is the how do I take this information and give it to people in digestible bite-sized pieces so they can actually implement what I'm sharing with them to do so that they can heal themselves, right? That's like, you know, the next question. Um, so if you um, studied at um, one of the uh, schools in Canada, um, you're really lucky because the schools, at least the schools that I have trained at, the Canadian School of National Nutrition and the Edison Institute of Nutrition, provide you with an assessment tool, 
right? So you literally can get all the information that you need from your clients and be able to see which body systems are out of balance, know which nutrients they're low in, um, and which toxic excesses that they might have so that you can actually create a plan for them to help them heal themselves. Um, now, I've noticed in working with clients who um, have cells that they don't necessarily get a system of assessment. They learn about a bunch of different things, a bunch of different diets, but don't really have a way of determining um, by one assessment that you can use with all your clients, which particular diet would be best for that client. So, oh, hey, Monica, yay. <laughs> Um, so if you're on this um, live stream, please feel free to say hello. Let me know um, where you're from. If you're a health coach, holistic nutritionist, you know, what's inspiring you to watch this. And if you have any questions at any point along the way, please just um, type them in the comments so that I um, can answer them for you. Now, I've shared this to my personal page and, and other places. And unfortunately, when I do that, um, I actually can't see your comments. So if you want me to actually uh, answer your questions, make sure you click on the link that says Nutrition Wisdom with Sherry Rothwell and go to my business page and comment there because I'm on something called BeLive um, and it's an app where I can do this from my computer and um, it only shows me your questions if you uh, punch them in on the feed that's on my business page. Okay, so like I said, you know, as an whether you're a health coach, health coach or a holistic nutritionist, you will um, have so much information um, when you leave school, uh, but not maybe know exactly how to take that information and package it up as a service, right? Because it has to become a service in order for it to be something marketable, right? Um, and what you learned in school was how to do a case study. And you may make the mistake of thinking that a case study, the way you've been um, taught to do case studies is the way you actually would also um, work with your clients, right? But learning to do a case study the way you did in school, the case study is actually for you. It's for you in school to learn. It's a process of you um, gathering all the information and looking at the person from a systems perspective, right? You've looked to see um, you know, their lifestyle. So you have a lifestyle assessment form. So you can learn as much as you can about their health history, right? Um, what they eat, okay? if they have any allergies, have they had a surgery, et cetera. All these different things you get from your assessment. Um, also, your NSP form, nutritional symptomatology, which is to um, basically look at the symptoms that are uh, will show up in certain organs and organ systems before that system actually ends up with a pathology, right? Um, so you have a really great idea of where the person's at and what you know they're heading towards if they actually don't. Uh, bring them their own bodies back into balance, right? So, you know, you have all these tools and it's for you to look at them from a systems perspective. And so when you do that, you know um, what dietary recommendations you need to make. You, need, you know um, what supplements would be beneficial for this person based on the assessment. You know the lifestyle changes that they need to make, etc. Now, that's really essential, right? That's basically what you went to nutrition school for, to learn how to do that. But now, how do you take that and give that to your client so that your client can actually implement those things, right? Um, and then recognizing that what is really simple to you is not so simple to your client. So it can be really easy to overwhelm your client with way too much information and way too many things to do in a short period of time. So when you do your case study, you're, you're looking at that case study and you're getting all of the information. So in your mind, you're thinking like, you know, all the different things that you want to do with this client. And when you really come down to um, what that looks like, you realize suddenly like you need six sessions, 12 sessions, maybe 24 sessions if the person, you know, is coming right off the standard North American diet. And, you know, you're, you're dealing with teaching them um, such basic information. Um, you, you need a lot more sessions for them to not overwhelm them, right? Because of so much of it with diet and lifestyle is teaching people new habits and they need that coaching and accountability to actually follow through and actually have an experience of, you know, ex exploring with you, right? Because on their own, they don't do that. That's not their passion. This is where they have trouble in their life 
that have a hard time. That's why they came to you. So if you were to just take that case study mo model and basically write up for the person, here's all the things that you have need to do and change and all the supplements you need to take and all the foods you need to eat and all the things you need to avoid, etc. That is like super overwhelming to them, right? And also the way your case study is written, there's an overview section, right? Where you're explaining their body systems out of balance and how everything is interrelated. And again, that's an exercise for you to learn. That's not for your client. That will absolutely overwhelm your client. They'll, it'll go over their head, right? They haven't studied anatomy and physiology. They went to, maybe they went to high school, right? And they studied biology of animals. They don't even know how the inside of their body works. So when you start telling them all the things that you found that are out of balance and need to come back into a state of um, homeostasis, they're just like, oh my God. Like they're not even hearing half of what you're saying, right? So you can't actually use the case study model as a way of working with your clients in your business, okay? And like I mentioned at the beginning of this live stream, that is something that your nutrition training doesn't actually tell you how to do it. Because basically there's a lot of different models for how you can run your business. And, um, you know, uh, people come to nutrition school for so many different reasons that, that your nutrition school can't really provide a model for you to run your practice right? Because some of you want to be nutritionists. Some of you want to own restaurants. Some of you want to be personal cooks. Some of you are already personal trainers and you wanted to, you know, add holistic nutrition to what you're already doing, right? So there's basically you're left on your own when you're done nutrition school to find a model that'll actually work for you. So um, what we know doesn't work is the case study model because it's not even developed for business. It's developed for you as a student to learn as much as you possibly can in the shortest amount of time using a real person as an example. So when you go into your business, what you have to ask yourself is, how can I take what I've learned and package it up so that it's digestible and assimilatable, right, for my clients? Because if you just give them all the information, but they can't implement it, then it's a total disservice to them, right? So my recommendation based on my own experience is to not do the one-off model where you um, sign a client on for one session, do an assessment and give them some recommendations and then hope they come back, right? It's human nature to, the minute something gets difficult, or the minute you make a mistake or don't follow through on something to start to feel bad and start to, you know, tell stories about how I can't do this or, oh, it's probably not going to work anyways, etc. Right? right? Like that's how the brain works. The human mind it has a tendency to go into the negativity. So if you don't get a commitment from a client right in the beginning that they are committed to doing what it takes to get the results that they say that they want, they are not likely to keep coming back. Okay. Um, you know, in the beginning of my health practice, I started off with a one-off model, but I wasn't in that model for very long. And the reason was because already having been a doula, um, I uh, already knew that there was gonna, there, I, it was gonna require more than just, um, you know, throwing up some posters that say holistic nutritionist or business cards that say holistic nutritionist somewhere um, to catch people's attention that I would literally need to educate people um, before they would become my clients. So I was really committed to learning everything that I could about business. So I almost um, didn't like I, for a very short period of time, did I do anything that looked like one off um, sessions in my business? I um, studied with other um, business trainers and learned their systems and applied the ones that I thought made the most sense to my holistic nutrition practice. So I switched from the um, one off model to running my uh programs and packages, okay? Now, you might uh, initially make the mistake of just creating a continuity package, right? Where you're just like, okay, I'm just gonna like work for somebody for six sessions. And every person who comes to me, I'm just gonna like book them in six sessions because I know I'm gonna at least need, you know, six sessions to get them somewhere. And that's fine, you can do that. But that's a very difficult package to market because it is not geared towards solving any specific problem, right? And so you're still stuck in that place of people going, well, you know, what is a holistic nutritionist and how can they help me? Um, or then them not even noticing you, right? Because the holistic nutritionist means nothing to them. Okay, so 
Unfortunately, to create a general practice based on a continuity package, although it's still better than one-offs, is not effective in terms of getting clients into your business. Okay, so what I recommend is doing something called a signature system, where you basically create a step-by-step -step plan for a certain kind of person that solves a certain kind of health issue. Okay, immediately when you do that, you make your service marketable. You have the um, clarity to be able to systematically create a package, walking people through steps that are designed to get them results. So then when you talk to somebody about what you do, it's very specific and they know whether it's for them or not, right? If they walk past um, a general poster that says, um, you know, holistic nutrition services, it doesn't catch their attention, right? But if they see a poster for your business and it says seven step plan for healing your chronic bladder infections and they walk past that sign and they have chronic bladder infections, well, you bet they are gonna look at that poster, okay? Because they're gonna know it's for them. So this is essential in order to actually make what you do marketable for people, okay? Or for yourself so that people can actually see that it's for them. So the signature system is basically you just looking at what are the steps that I would need to walk my clients through in order to have them no longer be susceptible to bladder infections, okay? And so you would literally lay that out and then you would make it into session by session. What are you gonna do in each session? Putting, chunking it down into bite-sized pieces for them so that you don't overwhelm them. It's really that simple. It's not complicated at all to do. It just takes some like foresight, some planning, okay? And it takes clarity about what you actually, who you actually wanna serve and um, you know, what the problem is that you would like your business to be focused on solving, right? Um, so a lot of people struggle with that part of it, the clarity part of it, right? Um, so my advice to people is just always the same thing. It's choose one of two things, either something you've struggled with yourself and overcome because you naturally have credibility in that area and you know what you're doing because you've done it, right? Um, or again, if you're younger or you've been super healthy and you never had a health challenge and you were just drawn to holistic nutrition because you're passionate about health and it shows based on, you know, your um, lack of health challenges, then you want to do something that is um, that you're really passionate about, like pick a topic that you um, can't imagine ever getting bored of and that you'd want to continue studying and then create a service um, that will help people in that area and um, helping people with a specific problem in that area. And now you have a marketable service. And that is the type of model using the signature system and package model that will actually make your service marketable. And then when you go to sell people into your services, they understand what they're getting and they trust you that you can help them because you've taken the time to create a system that's just for them, right? Everybody wants something that's just for them. They don't want something general, okay? Um, because it's based around getting results, it's easy to sell because they're looking for those results, right? Um, otherwise, what happens is uh, your marketing will get really unclear and wishy-washy, and it'll, to people, when they hear it, it sounds nice, but not necessary, right? So they will, they're not, it's not the first thing they're gonna do. You wanna solve a problem that somebody is literally up on, on uh, in the middle of the night on Google searching, going like, um, how do I solve such and such problem, right? So it could be in the, example I gave earlier, how do I heal my uh, bladder infection naturally, right? How do I heal my bladder infection without having to go on antibiotics? Okay, these are really specific problems that people have and they need to be solved. And a lot of people have them. And it's actually a disservice to the world for us as holistic nutritionists to resist what needs to be done for proper marketing, okay? Um, and or to resist putting the time and work into creating a service that is um, structured and professional and conscientiously designed to get a result, right? If we choose not to take our work seriously enough to do that, it's a disservice to the client, right? And, you know, with a one-off model, it's a lot about like just following the client. But you can't just follow the client because the client doesn't know what they're doing. That's why they've come to you, right? So um, sometimes people get a little stuck on this idea of um, having a system that maybe you'll, you know, not connect well with your clients. And it's not like that at all. You create a system so that you have a container for your business, something to market, something that you've planned out. You're confident. You know what you're going to do in every session. So you feel 
well, confidence in your work, right? The client feels confident in you because they know you already have a plan, right? But of course, when you're with the client in the sessions, sometimes, you know, you think something will take one session and it ends up taking two sessions because the client is struggling with something. So of course you have to, you know, follow um, the, pro the process of the, how it unfolds with the client. Um, you don't, you know, get super rigid, but you still have to have a plan to get a result, right? Um, so, you know, the other benefits to doing it this way for you as a practitioner is that you don't have to spend so much time reinventing the wheel, right? Once you create an amazing system that works for solving a specific problem, every time you show up to a client session, you're not scrambling before trying to figure out what to do or scrambling after making handouts, right? If you had to serve people with all sorts of different problems, you would never ever stop making handouts for different things, right? Like you would just be, you know, losing your mind. And let's like remember that you don't get paid for any of that, right? Um, so you really um, go, go into business in a way where you're really stopping to think about like what is actually going to work for yourself for business, right? Because like nothing works. You can't actually serve people unless they will come into your business, right? So what you create. It has to be marketable um, and it has to be designed to get clients results or, you know, they're not going to come back. Right. And they're not going to tell their friends about it. So, you know, really, when you start your business, you have to really look at creating structures inside of your business that really support you to be successful and, you know, reinventing the wheel with each client and, you know, um, doing full assessments taking you like four hours up to 12 hours and charging $150 for it is like martyring yourself, right? So you can't be doing that either. So yes, it takes a ton of time of unpaid time to go and create this amazing system for your clients, right? Where you've literally thought of every single thing that they would need in advance to make it so that, you know, you've provided an incredible service for them, but you get to use that system on multiple clients. So it pays off over time, right? And like I said, if you do the general practice that you'll never stop doing that. You'll be constantly like trying to catch up with things that need to be created um, for all sorts of different problems that people come to you with. And that's, you know, a recipe for burnout. And because you're not focused on it, you're not providing the best service for that client because somebody else is out there who actually is focusing on their issue and has designed a program to get the results. They should be working with that person instead, right? Um, so. This uh, model of, of instead of doing one-offs and going to a package model using a signature system is best for you, it's best for your business, and it's actually best for your clients. So I encourage you to um, start to consider how you could um, decide on what you want to focus on, who your ideal client is, and what the steps are that you would need to walk them through to get those results and then start thinking of your business from that place. And it will become very clear to you, you know, what you need to spend your time doing and what you need to work on and who you need to speak to and how you need to market and what, how you need to share your message. You know, once you have that, you literally have, you know, a container for your business. You have um, something that is tangible that you can sell. Right. Um, so um, if that, um, please feel free to, um, comment stream let me know um what you think um if you have any questions about what this looks like I, again feel free to comment um i'm almost at the end of the, the live stream so um if you're watching this replay feel free to comment after the fact and um, i'll come back to the thread as well and answer any questions that you have about switching from the one-off model to the um, signature system and package model and for those of you who would like help learning how to do that um, there's a link above the video for the waitlist for my new nourishing summer school. It's a totally online program. And um, in the program, I actually have a signature system training for you, signature system workbook to help you actually create and package your own um, service for your ideal clients, right? So we're going to go, obviously, in, you're going to have to first pick a niche in order to do this and a topic um, that, that is going to be your your message, right? It's because your marketing has to come through a vehicle and that is your message. And then, you know, from there, that's where we have the clarity and, and actually now are able to 
develop your signature system step by step. So if you want help with that, make sure that you look above the video, um, pass the copy that's um, on top of the video, and there's a link to the waitlist. And um, that program is going to be opening really soon. And once you're on the list, you're going to get all the information that um, you need to make a decision about whether the program is for you or not. All right. So thanks so much for watching the Nourish Nutrition Business Show. Again, I'm Sherry Rockwell from nutritionwisdom.ca, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one next Friday. All right. Bye for now.